Welcome to episode three of going from a 60 overall all the way up to a 99 overall in NBA 2K25, completely no money spent. I went ahead and scanned my face on the 2K25 app to see exactly what it would show me inside the game. It took a little while to load up and this is what I came out with. Not the best face scan, I have to admit. So I went ahead and fully customized my player to try and make it as lifelike as possible, kind of giving you a sort of face reveal, which I know I haven't done at all. I might do it at 100,000 subscribers. So if you do enjoy the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But this is what I ended up coming up with. I think it looks fairly decent. Obviously, I'm never going to get exactly how I look in real life, but I think this does a decent job of what I look like. So with the new face scan completed, I decided to go ahead and take a look at the city. And I had a bunch of quests to do starting off with speaking to Ronnie 2k just to get my VC up as much as possible. So I went to speak to basically every single person I could. Ronnie 2k. That's my guy. He's actually my best friend. Make sure you hit that like button. Chris Manning and Shakedown. I'll be right over there by the elite entrance. And I'll be over there at Rocks. Young Wayne. I had MP. Hey, let me tell you right now, the city's on fire, it's real, and the competition is the best you're gonna see. Let's get to it. Jalen Bronson. There he is, the king of New York. Nah, it's not like that. All of these guys just to get more and more VC. And I even went ahead and tried out the track, which I actually think is really, really fun to do. I'm by no means the best driver at all. And I have no idea how some of these guys got the ridiculous times, but we got the time we needed to get some extra VC in the game and unlock that go-kart to get around the city that little bit quicker. So with all of the VC that I've collected from doing the Heart of the Dynasty challenges and then talking to all of these guys and doing all that track stuff, I went ahead and made some massive upgrades to the player. So we've gone from a 60 overall all the way up to a 70 overall in just one go. I know the upgrades are probably going to take a little bit longer now that I've got up to 70. 70 overall, but I went ahead and upgraded some of the stats that I thought could do with upgrading. You guys will probably roast me with the build and what I've gone ahead and decided to upgrade first, but I believe that it's going to help me out but only time will tell when we get into some games. And I went ahead and decided the best thing for me to do at this point was to just simply play street ball. So that's basically what I did. I went into the sideline, tried to take down some of the bosses and the first matchup is going to be up against 5i and hopefully we can get the win and we should be getting some VC at least from this game, which is going to be helpful. 5i is going to try and get the dunk off, but he's going to get blocks as our teammate gets the rebound all the way up to me as I come through for the easy layup to put me up to two points. Ivine again going up for the left. At least I get another rebound in this one. We'll drive it up the court, play it over to our teammate, back out to us for the green release. And that's a guaranteed make. I'm liking the changes to the build. Hopefully I can keep this going though. So they've managed to tie up the game. I need to try and get a couple more baskets in. Off to me for the two-pointer, another green. They're up by two points at the moment. So hopefully we can get a basket. John's going to try and drive it up. He plays it over to me. I'll get the handles off. We get the screen on the right-hand side. Off for the three-pointer. And that's so somehow going to drop for us to put us up to nine. We'll get the screen for us this time on the left-hand side. Fairly helpful. He's rolled off nicely and that's a good assist for us and our first one in the game. Got five iron trying to drive in. He's found the space, but he misses the layup and that gives me another rebound in the game. We'll just set things a little bit. They double team us off to the corner for the three. How have you missed that? Got our opponent driving in again. Tough layup and he misses that one. At least I'm able to get another rebound, getting some more VC. We'll play it over to our teammate who comes through to give us another assist and put us up by one point. We've opened up a bit of a gap now, 19 to 16. They're going to dish it out to 5i and I've left him wide open. And of course, he's going to knock it down to tie up the game. But we can end it here if we get a bucket. I'll try and find a little bit of space, maybe to get a shot off. Are they going to come for the double team? They do. I'll play it out to my teammate for the three-pointer. And that's the end of that one. So that's boss one done. And that was a decent stat line as well. We got an A- minus on our teammate grade, which isn't bad at all. And 361 VC, which I'll definitely take. So we'll try the next one over here, which is going to be up against the coach. I'll go for that tough mid-range. I get a green release and that's an easy bucket. They're going to play it over to the coach. I can't have him dunking on me. And at least I get the rebound over there. Can I go coast to coast over here? I'm going to go up for the two-handed slam and it's going to fall for me. There we go. Getting the dunks in, which of course this build allows us to do. They've dished it back out to the coach. Surely that doesn't go in. How has he managed to knock that one down? I can't be letting the old man do that to me. I've got to get my own back a little bit. We'll go through for the layup and just about knocking it down to put us 
within one point of the coach. They're going to play it to coach. No, I've given him too much space and he's come through for the dunk. Oh, I have to answer back now that he's done that. I'll play it out to me. Pull up for the three and that doesn't drop. They found the coach again. My defense is awful as he's managed to knock down yet another two-handed slam. We're not doing well at all in this match. 11 to 6, but they found me on the left-hand side. We'll get the pick and roll going again. Go back to the basics. He's rolled off nicely straight under the hoop as he knocks down the two-handed slam. Getting one back on the coach to put us within three. They're going to find me for the two-pointer straight away, and it's going to fall for me this time. We're up to eight points, one rebound, and one assist. We're still three points behind. I'm going to pick up the steal, though, just about holding onto it. Straight through for the quick layup to put us within one point they're gonna play it out to the coach i've left him wide open and luckily he misses that shot as our teammate gets the rebound come on we need some points on the board they'll dish it out to me off for the two pointer another green release to put us up by one we'll get the screen set for us on the left hand side not really effective but i'll play it to him anyway not in a great spot and he just misses that one at least he gets his own rebound back out to me another two pointer up and another two down we're up by one point now and and we're just about going to get the steal over our opponent. I'll play over to 5-iron. Why didn't he go for the shot? He's driven in. He plays it to me. And we just waste the possession. They've managed to give themselves game point. He's gone for the two-pointer. Luckily, he just about misses the shot. So we get the rebound. We really need a three to end off this game. I'll drive in. Play it over to my teammate in the left-hand corner. And he's going to just about knock it down to win the game. 21-19. to Making a little bit of a comeback towards the end there to get the dub. We get another decent stat line there. 14 points, one rebound, three assists with a B plus at least and we are getting some more vc 331 for this one now this next boss took me absolutely ages but i just could not seem to win the first attempt we were down by a point as our opponent comes through for the layup to put him up 20 to 17 i need to get a bucket here if i want to keep my team in contention we'll go for the three pointer but it's gonna be a missed shot and i just about keep it in but our opponent catches the ball straight away they're gonna drive in get the layup off but at least the coach is gonna block them for us but it goes straight back to them our opponents can end the game here they're gonna play it over to thomas on the left hand side he's trying to drive in and he comes through with the dunk to end off attempt one the second attempt even closer they play it out to me on the right hand side for the three and it drops to put us within one point of our opponent over here but it could send the game to bed over here thomas has driven in and he gets off an easy layup to win the game 21 to 18 i don't know whether it's just the size difference that i'm struggling with with this matchup but it's just not happening yeah this third ascent was kind of in the mud although the coach got a block on our opponent as he just about gets the rebound as well we're down by nine points in this one i'll find some space on the right hand side get the green release for two as it drops but we need a massive comeback if we want to go ahead and win this they have got the game point at the moment i tried to go for the steal it doesn't work coach again getting the block giving the ball to me this time they play it back out to me we'll go back to the pick and roll try and keep things simple it's a good screen on the right hand side off balance three pointer but unfortunately it does not go in and our opponents just lob it all the way up the court and get the dunk off to win that one the attempts seem to be getting worse and worse now 21 to 12 on that one by this point i decided to take a little bit of a break and instead go ahead and come up against the guest challenger for this week the human highlight film as real as a dunk you can't believe ahead of this time it's dominique Lopez. but it looks like the form has just carried over to this game and we are down 8-2 at the moment. I'll play it over to me at the top of the key, get a good screen on the right-hand side. I'll pull up for the three-pointer, getting the green release, and there we go, 8-5 in this one. Is there a chance we can make a comeback? It's going to be very tough. He's got KD and Devin Booker on his team. Booker going around me way too easy and getting the layup off to put them up 10-5 in this game. So we need a couple of buckets if we can. I'll try and get the pick and roll going again. It's a good screen on the right hand side, but I'm still guarded up by that Kevin Durant. We'll play it inside to our teammate, back outside 
to me on the three-point arc. Another screen on the right-hand side, this time a lot better. I'll play it back out to him under the rim. He gets the shot off and he knocks it down to put us within three points. They managed to pull away a little bit again, so we're down by five points. If we can get a three-pointer here, that would be absolutely amazing. I'll dish it out to my teammate, try and set a screen for him on the right-hand side. He is going to use it, dishing it back out to me. Green release on the three, and that's what we needed to put us within two points of our opponent. KG's going to just about get the steal on our teammate, playing it over to Wilkins, off to Devin Booker. And that's a dunk. This might end up like the other games. We're down 18-12 in this one at this point. I'll try and find a bit of space, but it's not happening for me. I'll get it back out, pull up for the three-pointer, and that is no good at all. A kind of wasted shot. But KD's going to put up a really tough layup. At least I'm there to get the rebound. I'll dish it out to my teammate. I'm in a bit of space. I'll pull up for the two-pointer, and this time again missing. KD's going for the two-pointer, and he knocks it down. It's now 20-12 to in this matchup. We really need a massive comeback back to get this win they'll dish it out to me and i think i've got to go back to basics going with the pick and roll though they'll double team me we got someone in space under the rim and he knocks it down to put us within six we need some big defensive plays to try and get this dub devin booker he's gone around me but i somehow managed to get the steal over him which is really big i'll dish it out to my teammate is he going to go for the shot no he's going to dish it back out to me i'm going to wait until they get the double team there we go under the rim and that's another dunk to put us within four what's devin booker going to do he's pulled up for the three points and luckily he does miss that shot so if we can do what we did last time around and just wait for the double team i reckon we got a good shot of going ahead and winning this i'll just hold on to the ball a little bit try the pick and roll we got dominique wilkins trying to set the double team off to my team melt for the three pointer and he knocks it down so it's now 20 to 19 this is a massive comeback and it's all thanks to them calling the double team to give me space to get an assist and i just about intercept that pass i'll go for the two pointer it's a green release and it goes in straight away to put us up 21 to 20. AD's driving in and that's a simple dunk for him. So it's now 22 to 21. If we can get a three-pointer, we can end this game here. I'm going to set the double team on me. I'll play it out to my teammate in the corner for three. And he knocks it down. What a comeback in that match to beat Dominique Wilkins, KD and Devin Booker and get ourselves a good amount of VC on that matchup. So we did end up managing to complete a bunch of challenges and quests in that video, getting a lot of VC, which is always helpful. Of course, the upgrade probably helped my player quite a bit going from a 60 overall to a 70 overall player. We got still a long way to go though in this series and lots of VC in order to collect. So I reckon I'll probably start my NBA career in the next episode. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any other VC methods you guys know about or want me to try. And if you want to go see what Shaq would look like in the modern NBA, basically simulated his entire career if he got drafted in 2024. Go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner and I'll see you guys in that one. Peace.